Okay, so hey guys, it's Quinston, and now we're gonna know or we're gonna learn how to write the confirmation.php script. And um, and in this, the first thing which I want to do is I want to discuss the link. What does this link mean? So in here you have the host address at the start of it, and then you have the confirmation.php file linked to it after the back after the slash, and then there's a question mark. So why is there a question mark? So in PHP, when you pass in the URL and you have a question mark after the file name, uh, it actually means that this uh, file relates to the get method, which is used for passing variables from one file to the another. So here, uh, when you have random code equal to random code, that's, uh, you know, this dollar random code is basically the random code, which is gonna be, uh, you know, substituted at this position. But this random code is equal to that value. So when you write a random code, it actually is passing values from one position to another. So in the confirmation.php, when I say uh, dollar underscore get random code, this thing actually goes ahead and gets this value from the URL. Now, as you rem remember, this is uh, the, the link which you send in the inbox of the client. So once, uh, so this entire link would look like, let's say, if I copy this and I put it in the notepad, uh, in a normal notepad, I say control V, and here, if we increase this a bit, and here if I substitute this value over here, suppose let's say we are verifying something for Cat and Jackson, and we copy this confirmation code, the random code we generated, and put it over here. So the, the person in the inbox will see this entire link. So when he chooses this link, he copies it and he puts it over here or, you know, he clicks on it. Karen Jackson's account will be activated. If, if you see over here in the email, see Karen Jackson's code is activated. So that's how that link works. That's how that entire link works. So, so in the confirmation of PhD, what do we do? We say dollar random code equals to dollar underscore get random code which means through the link, through, through the URL, you get the random code, the value. And then you do the entire thing. And this is our you know, connection for the database. I, we went through it in the previous tutorial, so I don't think I should go over it again. Let's just check the $SQL. So in $SQL, you have select star from confirmation table where confirmation code is equal to this. So let's imagine Karen Jackson's email ID is still inside the confirmation table. So when you say select star from confirmation table, where confirmation code equal to random code, which is this random code, which we got from the URL, you will get the row in which that uh, random code is. And once you get that row, you get the email ID with it because there, in the same row, there's a confirmation code and the email ID. So you get the code and the email ID at the same time. And then you execute the query to get the result. Now, if, if the result has something, this will be executed, else this will be executed. So once you get the result, you check the number of rows present in the result. Why do you do that? Because if the confirmation code is unique, there has to be only one row with that particular confirmation code. If there are more than one rows, it just doesn't work. So you say dollar $count equal to MySQL underscore num underscore rows. This returns the number of rows which are in the result set. So if the count is equal to equal to one, you're good to go. Everything's fine. But if it's not, wrong confirmation code because there is some problem or you can say whatever, you know, there, it's not proper. So dollar rows, that one row, MySQL underscore fetch underscore array, this is used to fetch the next, next, next row. In this, we have only one row. So we only need to do this once because count is equal to once. So obviously there has to be one row. Then you get the email ID. So this, uh, so this returns basically an associative array in which that there will be two uh, values. There will be confirmation code and the email. You want the email, so you say dollar uh, email equal to dollar rows email. Uh, if if you see over here, you have email as a big uh, okay test. It's in the test in the confirmation table. You have the email and the confirmation code. So it will return these two things. So email and confirmation code. Um, yeah. So you get the email and you say $SQL insert into email. Now this is insert into email values. So you insert that, that email into the verified email table, which is this one. 
the verified email table is this one and that's how that works but okay you execute the query and check the results that's pretty simple but 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 you have to delete the entry of you know you have to delete this entry from here or else it's still pending right you, you don't want to remain pending you have to finish it so in order to remove this let's check what happens if I do this control C and I put it over here in the link and I copy this whole thing and I put it up top and execute it it has been activated right but if I refresh this now if I refresh the local host of um, this, this table it'll be empty because I wanted to delete it from the pending list because it's already verified right so how does that happen you make if the result is true if this result is true and it has to be that means not this result I'm talking about this result over here if this query has been executed and everything's fine and if the the entry has been added to the email uh, table then if the query was successfully executed delete the entry from the confirmation table so you echo your account has been activated and delete from confirmation table where confirmation code equal to that random code which you have over here and that's how this entire thing works and then you close the connection so yeah that's how this entire thing works if you found this playlist helpful like share subscribe and you know share it to other people so thanks for watching guys i really appreciate you watching it so thanks and yeah i'll see you later Bye-bye.